Hey everyone, I'm Edward from VV8 and welcome to our exciting series, Build with VV8. Today we're going to explore the latest update of our open source tool Verba, the Golden Retriever. We'll take a look at all the new features, go through uploading and chatting with an 80 page bachelor thesis and install Verba on our own device. If this sounds interesting, let's get started. RAG stands for Retrieval Augmented Generation and allows us to interact with our own data. Given a query like, what is VV8? We access our knowledge base, which can consist of documentation, blocks, or transcripts. We then retrieve relevant information through vector search. These retrieved documents are then used as context for large language models to generate a response for us. With these advanced models, chatting with data is not just possible, it's intuitively simple. For developers, the challenge has always been to efficiently and accurately search for specific information. And we've all been there, searching for solutions on platforms like Stack Overflow or Googling for the 10th time how to center a div. But when faced with unique problems or navigating through vast documentation, these methods might not be enough to get a solution for our individual problem. And this is where Verba comes into play an open source rack tool that transforms how you interact with your data. The front end allows you to ingest data using popular libraries like Spacey, Hugging Face, Unstructured, Cohere, OpenAI, and many more. What makes Verba really stand out is that it's easily installable through a pip install and one start command. The interactive chat interface not only lets you converse with your data, but it also verifies the sources of the information it provides. To demonstrate, we've deployed a live demo populated with all of our Weaver documentation, blog posts, and video transcripts. This demo is your go-to resource for any Weaver related queries. Whether you're curious about how hybrid search operates or need guidance on implementing the near text feature in Python, Verba is here to help you become a better developer. Verba seamlessly integrates into the open source ecosystem, a hub of innovation and collaboration. It's fully equipped to utilize models from Hugging Face like Sentence Transformers and groundbreaking open source LLMs, including Meta's Llama 2 model. But that's not all. The newly refactored code in Verba opens up a world of possibilities, allowing both users and our open source partners to effortlessly integrate their custom components into Verba's REG pipeline. Let's dive deeper into Verba's capabilities. At its core, Verba is versatile, supporting data ingestion from various formats, like text, markdown, JSON, and PDF files. Our chunking process, powered by Spacey, offers two efficient methods to break down your documents. Spacey is a lightweight yet powerful tool for natural language processing. When it comes to embedding data into VV8, Verba stands out by its support for sentence transformers, OpenAI's ADA model, and Cohere models. Using VV8's hybrid search and AutoCAD feature, we can retrieve relevant chunks efficiently and precisely. Hybrid search uses traditional keyword search together with vector search, combining the best of both worlds and improving results significantly. And all of this sets the stage for users to choose from a variety of LLMs to generate responses, be it the latest OpenAI Turbo model, Llama 2, or Cohere. Of course, speed and performance are key in Verba to ensure a good user experience. That's why we've implemented token streaming, which is enabling faster access to responses. We made interactions with Verba feel more natural and intuitive by introducing conversational context. And to boost efficiency further, we enhance our semantic cache, which now also includes conversational history. This means Verba not only responds more quickly, but also more contextually understanding the flow of your conversation. Now, let's put Verba to the test. We'll be ingesting a 80-page bachelor thesis from a good friend of mine, which he recently submitted and is rich with interesting insights. This thesis, focusing on training a CNN model for asset detection in Germany energy grids is a great way to show how you can use any data to interact with. 
It's also a great example scenario where Verba must really rely entirely on provided context to navigate and retrieve information. So we can't rely on any training data of the LLMs. So in Verba, we go ahead and click on Add Documents. Here we can configure our type of reader we want to use. For this use case, we will utilize the PDF reader, powered by Unstructured, to read in the thesis. So let's select the Bachelor thesis file for the upload. We now also have the possibility to select a different chunking technique or a different embedding, but let's keep it on default and press import. After it's done, we ingested 621 chunks into VV8, so let's double check on the documents page. Here we can see and search through all the ingested documents, and we can see that our bachelor thesis is included. With everything set up, we can now start asking questions. So let's start with what's the goal of this thesis? The response is that the thesis is about predicting the presence of four specific assets in prosumer households using smart meter data. Note that on the right we have the individual chunks that were used to generate the information. But let's dive deeper and ask what the data was used to train the CNN. The answer is that the CNN was trained on German smart meter data that include hourly measurements of energy consumption. Well, that sounds exciting. Let's ask about the F-score of the CNN. And again, note that Verba automatically saves the queries to suggest auto-completion in the future. There seems to be four F-scores for four different predictions. Wallbox, photovoltaic systems, battery storage, and pump prediction. This sounds like a really intense thesis, so let's wrap it up and ask about the results. As you can see, if Verba has not the required context it needs to answer the query, it will actually say so and try to work with the context it has instead of hallucinating. And there you have it. In just under a couple of minutes, Verba has provided us with detailed insights into this comprehensive document. So whether it's a bachelor thesis, a technical manual or any other dataset, you can use this tool to improve how you access and interact with information. So, Interested in using Verba yourself? No worries, the installation is actually super simple and I'll show you how. So first things first, we need Python on our system, preferably version 3.9 or later. So let's check our Python version by using python dash dash version. Before installing Verba, let's set up a virtual environment. You can choose whatever technique you like. For this example, I'm using virtual env. Also, don't forget to actually activate your environment. With the environment now activated, we're ready for the next step, installing Verba. We simply use the command pip install golden Verba to install Verba's base installation, which supports Cohere and OpenAI right off the box. For those inclined towards Hugging Face models, pip install Golden Verba Hugging Face will seamlessly integrate additional dependencies like Transformers, Torch, and Hugging Face Hub. So let's type in pip install Golden Verba.
Once everything is installed, let's create a .environment file to store our API keys. For this example, we'll add the Cohere API key by setting the Cohere API key variable. Once that's set, we're ready to launch Verba with the Verba start command that brings the frontend to life on localhost 8000. In Verba, let's go to the status page that offers us insights into the libraries and keys available to us. And let's check if we can also see the Cohere key. All right, let's put it to the test. We'll import the Wikipedia page of Minecraft, a popular sandbox game about blocks. And now let's ask Verba, what is Minecraft? A 3D sandbox game with no goals and allowing a large amount of freedom. Well, this sounds like a Minecraft I know. And there you have it. In less than a couple of minutes, we set up Verba and imported our first piece of data. For more detailed instructions on retrieving those API keys from various providers, be sure to check out our GitHub page. There, you will find a comprehensive guide covering all installation options and VVA deployment methods. Verba is built in collaboration together with the open source community and partners. The new modular architecture enables users to easily add new functionality to tailor Verba to their specific needs. The new version of Verba could not have been done without you, the community, and a great contribution from various users. We're super thankful for the support and hope that you keep supporting open source. We're excited to share this cool journey with you and we'll keep working on adding features to Verba. In this video, we had a closer look into the new Verba update, how to use it to interact with our data and how to install it on our device. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope to see you next time. Bye.